The Sex Human Revolution can be played as much in combat as it can be done in stealth. Uh, one of the challenge uh, we had was to make sure that combat and stealth would be fun to play in their own rights. For stealth, we did a lot of things to, to really make it compelling, to really make it like uh, you're outsmarting the enemies, that you can be the invisible guy, the hunter looking at its prey and then taking them down. We used two basic uh, 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 factors to support the stealth, you know? You have to be uh, out of the sight of your enemies and, and, uh, and uh, you have to deal with the sound propagation. It's organic, it feels so natural, like I understand when I'm, I'm getting cut, I understand when I'm successful. I feel that I'm uh, getting more out of the story. Sometimes when you're uh, in an enemy compound and you're sneaking around, the guards themselves are having conversations. If I go in guns blazing, they're going to disrupt those conversations. But if I'm taking the time, I'm being careful and sneaking, maybe I'll overhear them talking about something that will actually help me get in farther. This be guarded 24-7, you hear me? I hear you, man. It's not like one of those scripted sequences where you go in, you open a door, and then all the enemies just go and they place uh, themselves into specific covers and they just wait for you to go. They do what they have to do. They might, hearing noises, be suspicious and investigate. So we really uh, base the AI uh, on those principles. If you go in and you stealth, you cloak to one place, they're gonna go around, they're gonna flank you if they know you're there. If they don't know you're there, hey, all the better, just take down them. For me, the augmentations are the star of the 